Hi children, I have got a book today called Doctors and it's all about people who work in hospitals and in GP surgeries, hospitals for the NHS, the National Health Service and haven't they been amazing during this pandemic? So let's find out a little bit more about their jobs. It's an information book, it's got a contents page at the beginning that tells us all the different pages we can find things. Communities. People live in communities. We live in the community of Burn Grieve, don't we? They live near each other and they help each other. And I know lots of your families help other families next door and help their um, relations and aunties and uncles. We all help each other. People work together in a community. Some people here are making food to sell. There are shops, all sorts of people helping each other every single day. And we've really had to help each other, haven't we? While we've not been at school, we've had to help our parents, help our grannies, help each other, maybe to do shopping or maybe to get medicines. And these are doctors in the community. So here's a lady and she may be a doctor in Burn Grieve. Doctors work in commu communities and doctors help people stay healthy. I think this little girl here has got a poorly throat and look the doctor's helping to make her well again what doctors do doctors help people when they are sick so this doctor is checking that this little girl hasn't got any spots in her throat maybe she's got a sore throat she's checking and she's going to help her and doctors help people when they are hurt this little boy here has fallen off the boat and the doctor has come out to help him because he's hurt his chest. Where doctors work? Doctors work in surgeries. Surgeries, so that's a group of doctors and nurses all together. There's a surgery in Burn Grieve. I wonder if you're a member of that doctor's surgery. Perhaps ask. Doctors also work in hospitals. And we've got some very, very big hospitals here. We've got the Northern General Hospital that is very, very close to us. And we've got Hallamshire Hospital as well. Aren't we lucky that we've got two big hospitals? We've also got hospitals that are for children, the Children's Hospital, and a hospital for people who have cancer. That's called Western Park. And we also have a special dental hospital for when we hurt our mouths and our teeth. We're really lucky in Sheffield. And doctors wear a white coat, don't they? They keep their white coats really clean so there aren't germs on there. And they wear gloves and masks to make sure that any germs from their mouths aren't going to affect the patient. And if they're in hospital doing a surgery, maybe having to sew somebody back who, who's cut themselves, cut their arms, they have these gloves so there are no germs on their hands. They're really clean. And doctors use medical kits. You can see this doctor here is listening to this little boy's chest with a stethoscope. And you can hear his breathing and his heart beating. And they use their hands. So this doctor is feeling if there are any lumps in her throat, we've got something called glands in our throat. And sometimes when we get an infection, our glands get bigger. They're swollen. So that's what this doctor's doing. There are people who work with doctors. Nurses. Doctors work with nurses and they help the doctors. This nurse is helping the doctor with some x-rays. Nurses look after people and this nurse is working in the hospital giving this little girl her food. She's helping look after her. And doctors work with paramedics. Paramedics are the ambulance drivers, the people who take people to hospital. They work in the ambulance and they may be the driver or the other people inside them. They're the first people that, gets, that get to an accident. And doctors help us to get better. Aren't they great at doing that? They help the community and they help to keep us healthy. And here we've got a glossary at the end that tells us a community is a group of people living and working in the same area. A hospital is where sick 
or injured people are cared for by doctors and nurses. And a paramedic is a person trained to do medical work, such as first aid, and they're the people who take us to hospital. And we, as usual, in an information book, we've got an index in alphabetical order. So gloves is page 13, begins with G, G, and white coats that begins with W, W, is here at the end on page 12. Wasn't that interesting? Now, I need you to know some really, really important things, really important things, but I'm going to tell you about my Teddy and Monkey. One day, Teddy had invited Monkey round to play. They were having a great time. Teddy was jumping off the bed and Monkey was swinging around, swinging from the lampshades. Whee! said Monkey, having a great time while Teddy was bouncing around. But suddenly the lampshade broke and Monkey fell onto the ground. Poor Monkey. Teddy went over. Teddy didn't know what to do. Monkey, 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 wake up. Monkey, wake up. But Monkey wasn't waking up. Teddy got worried, but then Teddy remembered that Teddy's mummy had told him something really, really important to do. Teddy's mummy had taught him that if you need to phone for an ambulance, there are three special numbers. Do you know what numbers these are? Nine. 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 Teddy remembered the numbers. Now, Teddy's mummy's phone was on the side and Teddy picked up the phone, but Teddy kept pressing and swiping across the mobile phone and didn't know how to get in. But mummy had told Teddy that even if you don't know the pin number to get on a mobile phone, it says on the bottom of it, emergency call and it lets you press 999 even when you can't open the phone. Teddy was sp speaking to someone on the phone. Hello, said the lady on the phone in a nice kind voice. Do you want the ambulance? Do you want the fire brigade or do you want the police? Teddy knew it was an ambulance that was needed. I need an ambulance monkey is hurt. Don't worry. What's your name? Teddy. I'm Teddy, said Teddy. Right, said the lady. Don't worry. Do you know where you live? Teddy's mummy had told him where he lived. She taught him his address. It was One Brick Road. One Brick Road, said Teddy. That's great, Teddy. Do you know what town you're in? I'm in Sheffield, said Teddy. And do you know your postcode? Teddy's mummy had taught him the postcode. That was some numbers and letters. I know it. It's S49JW, said Teddy, really pleased with himself. The lady on the other end said, stay on the phone, Teddy. Somebody's coming with you. Go and sit with Monkey and speak to Monkey and hold Monkey's hand. Teddy took the phone with him so that he could hear the lady telling him what to do. Hold Monkey's hand, said Teddy, held Monkey's hand. Ted, Monkey, somebody's coming soon. That's right, said the lady on the phone. Tell Monkey he's going to be fine. Monkey, somebody's coming soon and you're going to be fine. Somewhere Monkey could hear, although Monkey couldn't speak and Monkey felt much better. Suddenly there was a knock at the door and Teddy went out and an ambulance paramedic came through. Don't worry Teddy, we'll take this from here, said the men. And they picked up Teddy on a stretcher like this, very gently, checking that no bones were hurt and put Teddy on the stretcher and into the ambulance.
monkey on there. Monkey felt much better and Teddy, Teddy knew that he'd done the right thing. Monkey was taken to the hospital and soon Monkey was bouncing around again, but not swinging from the chandeliers. Do you remember that number that you need to know? Nine, nine, nine. I want you to remember that. That's who you phone in an emergency. And do you remember that you need to learn what your home address is? Try and learn that. Try and remember that. It's really good to know your address in case you ever need to phone for an emergency. So children, this little girl is helping her grandma and she has remembered to ring 999. Let's just see a little bit of it. Grandma's chest is hurting and the little girl is going to phone. She's calling for an ambulance. She's told Granny not to worry. Nine, nine, nine. She knew exactly what to do. Emergency, tell me exactly what's happened. And here was the lady on the other end. She's struggling to breathe. And what's your address there? She well, says her address because be... she's learnt her address. Okay. Do you know the postcode there at all? Can and you... she's remembered her postcode yes. too. Oh, okay, that's great. Thank you. I've got that there. And what's your name? Gemma. Okay, and how old are you, Gemma? Nine. So Gemma's nine, nine years oh, okay. old. You're doing really well there, Gemma. My name's Chris, and I'm going to help you today. All right. And the ladies helped, and look who's coming here, just like they came for Monkey. It's an ambulance. There we are, wasn't Gemma great there? She told them exactly what to do. And out came the paramedics. And they're going to help Grandma. Here they come. Straight in. They're coming. And Granny's going to feel much better very soon. Ambulance come in. And there they are. Thank you very much. a great job. Great job at phoning for the ambulance, Gemma. Yeah. But you tell me exactly what happened today. And so she's taken to the hospital. So we're just going to get going to the hospital. Again. And they've taken her to hospital. And soon Granny is going to be all better again. So, children, do you remember the number? That's right. It is 999. We never press 999 on our phones unless it's an emergency because we don't want those paramedics to come out, do we? They may be coming to us and actually there's a real emergency. But if there's an emergency, that's your number to ring and try and learn your address and your postcode because you never know. One day you may be able to help somebody. Take care, children. Bye.